Good morning, good evening, good whatever time you're watching this at. Welcome to yet another Pipe Dream speed run. We're going to learn how to automate answering some support tickets using conversational AI or NLP, natural language processing. You don't need to know how to code. Dialogflow is actually really intuitive to use and we'll connect it to Pipe Dream to make a quick database lookup and respond with a dynamic answer. First, we'll start off in Dialogflow. And just at a very high level, we create these things called intents. And dialogue flow will then be trained against each intent. We'll give it training phrases, and it will respond when a certain phrase triggers that intent. So for example, I created a quick one here called, what are your hours? And I gave it a few expressions or training phrases that should trigger this intent, and it should return a response. Now we could set a default tech re text response. So we could say, our hours, are nine to five, and that would be a static response. You just say, when are you open? In our, in our test agent here on the right, we'll just send this message. Our hours are nine to five is the default response. Now, how we can make this even cooler is by adding a dynamic response using Pipedream. So let's pretend we run an e-commerce store and we have this huge list of inventory of products and we wanna be able to actually respond to customers' questions about if something is in stock or not. So let's head on over to the entities section and here's where we can create custom entities that Dialogflow can recognize. I started one called products and I created my first product here that is called a purse and there's a couple synonyms that could also trigger this particular entity and I'll add you know, something like pants and we can add shirts, for example, shirts, t-shirt. Now, how can we use this entity in our intent? Well, first I'm gonna save this products custom entity. I'm gonna head back to our intents. I'm going to create a brand new intent called, is it in stock? And we'll add a training phrase, say, are pants in stock, for example? And it automatically recognized that a pant or pants is an entity. So it'll extract the entity from the phrase when this intent is triggered. Do you have any shirts? Come up with many phrases to trigger this intent and it will automatically use natural language processing to train the AI under the hood. I'm gonna add one last one here. How many shoes do you have in stock? So three training phrases, that should be enough to trigger the intent, great. Now we have our intent set up. It's trained against us a few entities. If it doesn't recognize them automatically, you can highlight and then select the entity that it should be. And we go down here and the response could be a text response that's this is static, doesn't change, but that wouldn't be very helpful to the customer because it could be different products within the question. So we'll head to this fulfillment section and we can enable webhooks to fire when this particular intent is triggered in the conversation. All right, so now we need to head to our fulfillment section well, we should probably save our intent first. That will trigger the training session. And then we'll go to fulfillment and we'll enter in the webhook. So it's disabled this current moment, we'll enable it. And now we can just enter in a pipe dream webhook to trigger a workflow to look up our inventory. I've created a brand new workflow and I set it to trigger by a HTTP request. I'm going to just create the source really quickly here, copy this URL, and then just paste it into the fulfillment section in dialogue flow and then save it. Now we can trigger this intent, which will fire an HTTP request to Pipedream. I'll ask it, how many uh, shirts do you have in stock? And hopefully that'll trigger our intent. And the default response is not available, which is a good sign because not returning the response that Dialogflow expects. It expects an object, instead it got an HTML page, which is the default response from Pipedream. So let's customize Pipedream's response to Dialogflow Look, the R event showed up. So this is the exact request that we just made or received from Dialogflow. And here is the Dialogflow data that was associated with the intent. I'm going to add a brand new step and return HTTP response. And one little thing, don't forget, in the trigger, we have to configure it to allow a response from our workflow and not the default HTML response that we don't want. We wanna return a custom response that is a specially JSON formatted response. We'll choose this, we'll click save and continue, and then we will customize this body to instead be the payload that Dialogflow expects. Heading over to the Dialogflow documentation, we can just copy an example from their documentation. This is what 
the format should look like for a dialog flow to respond to the user with. So I'm just gonna paste that and then clean it up a little bit. So hopefully the next time we run this workflow from dialog from a dialog flow message, it should respond with a default response. That's just text flow, text response from webhook, something simple. I quickly just deployed this. Now I'm gonna head back to dialog flow and try again. How many shirts do you have in stock? And hopefully this time it says text response from webhook, which it does. So now we've successfully wired up pipe dream to dialog flow. It's running on a specific intent. And the next step is to actually respond with the inventory of the product. So we're going to look into our data stores. I've made a quick product inventory. It's really simple. There's only three options per shirts or pants and the current stock that we have in our inventory. We'll go back to our workflows and open up our workflow and we'll edit it again. And we should hopefully see the detected parameters. Here we go. So the cust remember in our sample question, we asked how many shirts do you have in stock? Well, this parameter section is the entity that the dialog flow detected within the message. So I'm going to copy the path and I'm going to paste it into our Node.js step here. We'll just say the product is this path just to keep it simple. And I'm going to add a quick data store to this step. So we'll say props and we'll add the inventory data store I just showed you to this particular step by saying inventory and the type is a data store. Then we'll just need to refresh the fields to actually populate the data store option. And we can click product inventory. Now it's successfully wired up. So this is the product name coming in from dialog flow and we wanna know the, the stock available, right? So we'll create a stock variable and that will be the result of finding the inventory of, get the inventory of the product. And that's the product name. So it should be how many shirts do we have in stock? That's basically the result of this operation. So now we can change the default text from uh, just default response to we have, there will be 20 shirts. So we put stock and then we'll say the product name, right? In stock currently. And now we have a dynamic response thanks to data stores, pipe dream and dialogue flow playing together. We'll deploy this. And then we'll go back to our dialogue flow agent here and we'll try the same question again. How many shirts do you have in stock? We have 20 stocks in and we have 20 shirts in stock currently. Awesome. So let's try purses. How many purses do you have? We have 10 purse in stock. Well, we probably should add an S to the products under the entities, but you get the idea. But you can see how you can create actual answers that aren't simple static answers using dialogue flow. That's all the time I have for today. I am so sorry we didn't get to the gorgeous integration part of this, but I can show you that in another video where our help desk will actually forward the message to dialogue flow and then the workflow will respond with this custom message to the user. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you can take some time to explore dialogue flow and other NLP as a service options and how well they integrate with PipeDream. Have a great day.